Oh wow, you guys see me with my glasses. It's one of those days. All right, should I take it off? Should I keep it on? I mean, this is how I look when I'm in front of the computer all day. You know, because it, it gets busy sometimes and you just, you just, yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, I'm doing the most. I don't know if I want to keep these on or not, but y'all like my locks. They purple, y'all. They purple. All right, I feel a lot more confident, like comfortable today having these glasses on. Um, Shielding my eyes and stuff. Can y'all see anything? No, not really. But yeah, it's just my blue light glasses. Anyways. Hi guys, it's Princess Rani here and I hope that you're doing well. Welcome back to my channel. Um, on this channel we talk about Christian faith, we talk about lifestyle as well as natural hair. As you guys can see, I am protective styling with my little purple. Can you see it? Can you pick it up? Maybe not. But yeah, it's purple now. It's purple. Anyways, so we are 267 strong and we're only getting stronger with love for you. If you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe down below. Hit the bell notification so you're always notified whenever I post a new video. If you're already subscribed and you've seen some of my videos before, I appreciate you. Welcome back. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the video. <sighs> They're doing construction or cleaning or something. I don't know. It's really loud. Hope y'all not picking that up. But anyways, hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Princess Renny here and I hope you're doing well. Hope you good. You good. Okay. Um, today's a dress down day. We're repping our call um our alma mater, our colleges. Yeah. Um, but I just realized like even as I was wearing this, I was like literally all the schools I've been to, the um team colors were always blue, white, and gray. So like all the way from elementary or even like kindergarten all the way up it's always been these colors so i'm like okay this is my color regardless all right like even my cheerleading team like this reminds me of like one of my uniforms that i had anyways that's besides the point um <laughs> today i'm gonna talk to you guys about i'm christian but modesty is not my thing i don't like that title but maybe i'll go with it maybe i won't i don't really know but um I feel like this is a topic that I had to speak about because it's impacted me for my entire life, I feel like. Like, you know, girls growing up, like, you always have to think about, well, am I showing too much? Is this too much that I'm doing? Like, you know, and it's always, like, extra. So, um, me growing up, I was always told, like, young girls don't do this, young girls don't wear this, young girls don't act or talk or walk like this. So it's always like about the message that girls are putting out. And it's like, well, what about men? Like, you know, they shouldn't be looking and then all these things. And it's like, why is it only focused on the female? So obviously I need to ground that in scripture and I need to ground that in God's word and what he says about how we present ourselves. And we know that our body is a temple, right? And we need to make sure that we're holy and acceptable to Christ. We need to make sure that whatever we're putting in our bodies, um, we're paying attention to those things, but also the things that you're putting on your body, whether it's a tattoo, whether it's a piercing and all these other things. And I'm talking about this cause like I do have a piercing. And if you've seen my stomach, you've seen my piercing and it's like, that's another topic for another day. Anyways, um, what I really want to talk about is the fact about modesty because I feel like growing up, um, all the time you hear about like how women are supposed to present themselves or how girls are supposed to present themselves. And like in high school, you know, it was always the thing where it was like you want to be cute and you want to be out there and you want to be noticed. And it was like mini skirts wore my thing. Like I'm not even going to front. I used to love like those shows like Clueless where the girls would be wearing like those really short um, skirts and like the really high, knee high or above the knee I guess, thigh high boots. Um, that was my thing. Like it would be chilly outside but I didn't care. I was the one that wore heels to high school. Not like regular heels but like the booties that have like the little heels with it. Um, I love the mini skirt style. I love like being cute didn't really care about being cold as long as I was trying to be cute and then that was like my freshman year and then later on I started to like wean off of that but I was still trying to be like cute um and, and, but I was still like cold and yo I was skinny so like me doing all these things like it was always that excuse where it's like 
yeah but I'm skinny so like nothing really shows or yeah but I'm skinny but it's like you know there's nothing there so it's okay like I can wear this crop top and show up my stomach I can wear this short skirt or these shorts or whatever and like have my thighs showing there's nothing really there it's okay and it's like no don't lie to yourself I'm sorry the lighting is like not helping me right now but um don't lie to yourself like no you know that's not okay like why are you making an excuse like whether you're skinny whether you're bigger it doesn't matter like you're still showing out your body and um my biggest conviction in regards to modesty was mini skirts because i knew i loved the fact that when you wore a mini skirt it was so tight um that when you're walking because i was skinny so like the fact that when I walked and my skirt was riding up a little and I had to like adjust it like made me feel fake thick even though I wasn't you know <laughs> but it was just like that because I just loved the fact that like I would see like older women walking around and like adjust their clothes because you know it's like tight and like they have these curves or whatever and I had to learn the hard way that girl you just don't need that kind of attention in your life you really don't so fast forward to I want to say it was 2018, I want to say it was 2019, I don't remember the exact year, it might have been last year, but um, I had done a Shein haul and I really wanted to try out all these cute outfits and stuff and I just looked at the model and they were like this skinny and I was like oh my gosh this looks so nice in her but mind you the models were tall and the things that they were wearing were pretty short. So I was like okay well I'm shorter than them so even though the things that they're wearing are short it might not fit me as short. Um, but I wasn't really thinking about that. I was more like, oh, this is cute. I'm getting it. It's short on her, but it's okay. I'm getting it. And legit bought all of these things. And I was like, yes, vacation mode. Like, I'm going to go to Guyana. I'm going to wear this. I'm going to go here. Because I plan I think I was planning to go to Jamaica last year. But then, you know, my Guyana trip, like, trumped that. But, like, that was my goal. It was, like, to go to Jamaica. It was also to go to Guyana. But then I just ended up just going to Guyana. Anyways, um... I had my outfit and I was like yes this is what I'm wearing but I also had like other things from before and I was like yep 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 about to be up in here like taking all these pictures little photo shoots and whatnot stomach out because you know Guyana's hot that was my excuse like Guyana gets really hot so I was like yep we about to be skin out <laughs> horrible right so I got all these outfits and I'm actually gonna share it with you guys because I did it and I recorded videos of me trying on the outfits but I didn't share it because I was like well, one, my channel, the things that I'm talking about on my channel, like this is completely contradictory, like me showing out all of these things. But then when I think about it, I'm like, if you don't feel comfortable sharing it on your channel, do you actually feel comfortable wearing it? Like, what's the point of you buying these clothes then? You know, like you have to think about that. Like, it's not even about like you guys, but it's like the message that I'm giving out and the way I'm representing Christ. And that was my like biggest conviction because I was like, okay, yes, I understand that you like these things and they look cute or whatever, but is this like the high school you or is this the new, improved, you know, um, reformed Christian that you are today? And hearing all that, I was like, wow, okay, like I get it, I understand. So I was like, yo, that makes sense. Like I need to consider that, I need to think about that. And then I was like, okay, so like, when I go to the beach, I wear bikinis. Like, I'm not going to front. Like, I do actually wear bikinis when I go to the beach. Like, I'm not wearing no, like, long dress all the way to my knees type thing. Like, I wear, like, you know, the separate ones. Um, <laughs> Got to specify. And, like, people at the beach see me. So, like, am I going to, like, cover up now when I take pictures, even though people at the beach saw me? And it comes to the point where it's, like, finding that medium. It's, like, I'm not that... And I don't want to judge anyone that's like, you know, more um, religious than I am. But I do still like wearing bikinis when I go to the beach. Like, I'm not getting my good clothes, my shorts, and all these other things wet just to cover up. Like, I'm just not, you know. So, like, that's what I would wear. So then when I think about that, I'm like, okay. But there's a time and place for that. Like, you can have that because you're going to the beach. You're going to be in the water. And then later, you're going to cover up with your towel to, like, dry your skin off or whatever. Great. That's a time and place. All right? when you're going to family functions and stuff are you gonna wear like these we call it bati rider okay these tight shorts all the way up to like having a little bit of your cheeks showing no honestly i don't even like wearing those anymore um but i did wear those in high school too and it's like girl like what message are you sending out like and as Christians, we need to be aware of the way that we're dressing and the way that we're presenting ourselves. It's not just about how you dress, but also like, what does your presence say about you, right? So like you being around different crowds and stuff, 
you're presenting yourself by the way that you're speaking you're presenting yourself by the way that you look your actions your emotions but also the way that you're dressing like literally presenting yourself to the world and it's like all right well there's certain things that i'm still dealing with and it's like you might like certain attention but is that the right type of attention do you really want and when you think about it like the people that you get attention from because you're showing out certain parts of your body aren't really the people that you want around you especially as a christian like that leads to so many other things that does not take you closer to christ like you want to make sure that whatever attention you're getting or whatever friendships you're getting actually support and represent the type of person that you want to be understandably like you might be dealing with like um these different convictions about the way that you're dressing and the things that you're wearing um but also focusing on like okay checking your circle like who are these people around me are they encouraging me to wear this right now like are they encouraging me to present myself in this way or are they like yo sis i love you and i care about you um as my sis in christ or whatever the case may be this is not okay and like you need to have people in your circle that are like there to tell you that because like honestly in high school i didn't really have friends that told me that like people were like oh yeah you cute girl okay like hyping me up and it was like that's not the type of person that i wanted to be that's not the representation that i wanted um you know in my christian walk and then even now the other day actually i wore a mini skirt and it was a completely different like perspective because one it wasn't like super short it wasn't super tight I'm actually going to share the picture right here so y'all can see it. It wasn't super tight. It wasn't super short. But I felt more comfortable or confident in it because I knew my intentions were pure. I'm wearing this because I'm about to take a picture and it's a cute picture. And like, I just wanted to show off this color scheme like with my outfit. It wasn't like, oh, I'm going to wear this and this person's going to inbox me. Or, oh, I'm going to wear this and I'm going to get this attention from somebody on the street. Because, like, that's really what... Yeah, so I was getting on a roll. But, like, that's basically the idea behind it. Like, think about the way that you're presenting yourself to the world. That you're presenting yourself as a person. Like, when you look in the mirror, are you like, yes, this is the type of person that I want to be. This is the type of person that I'm okay with becoming. Or is it more a contradiction? And we really have to think about that. And I'm grateful to God for the Holy Spirit that I'm able to be convicted about certain things that I'm doing. That's not necessarily a good representation of him. And we need to be able to run with that conviction and like really think about this, the decisions that we're making and make sure that we're representing Christ the way that he should be representing. So um, let me know your thoughts. Are there any convictions with the way that you're like in regards to modesty or in regards to the way that you're presenting yourself? Definitely let me know. Comment down below. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I would love to see you on the next video. Be blessed. Spread love. And stay beautiful inside and out. Bye, guys.